this is another video on dry docking from past question papers of first mates. A vessel of length 141 meters, center of flotation 2.6 meters, forward of midship, MCTC is 144, TPC 19, KM 7.7 .7 and KG 6.9. Initial displacement W is given 11,300 and drafts forward 3.8, aft 5.68 meter is floating in a dry dock where depth of water is 6.5 meter above the top of the blocks. Calculate vessel residual GM and drafts forward and aft. A water level is lowered by 1.75 meter and when vessel is unstable. So these are two questions being asked. They are asking us the drafts forward and aft and residual GM on two occasions. One, when water level is lowered by 1.75 meter and second, when the vessel is unstable. So let's see that the current depth of water above the blocks is given as 6.5 meter and water level is lowered by 1.75 meter. Initial condition, what is LCF? Center of flotation is 2.6 meters forward of midships. So half of LBP is midship plus 2.6 gives 73.10 meters. This is the LCF, the position of center of flotation from half perpendicular. Drafts forward is 3.8 and aft is 5.68, trim 1.88 meters by stern. So, what is the initial hydrostatic draft? We apply correction to aft draft and aft draft is 5.68. Correction applied will be trim into LCF upon LBP. Trim is 1.88 meters. LCF 73.1 and LBP 141. So we get initial hydrostatic draft as 4.705. This is initial hydrostatic draft 4.705. Now present depth is 6.5 meter depth of water above the blocks. Present depth is 6.5 meters. What will be the depth? after 1.7 meter 1.75 meter drop in water level so obviously 6.5 minus 1.75 4.75 meter will be the depth of water above the blocks after 1.75 meter water is lowered so we have seen that our updraft is 5.68 meters so obviously during this fall of 1.75 meter the ship's stern will take the blocks after so what will be the depth when the ship's stern will take the blocks off the so depth when stern will take the blocks off will be obviously equal to aft draft 5.68 meter and we have seen that the depth after 1.75 meter drop of water level will be 4.75 meter. So the difference of 2, 5.68 minus 4.75 is 93 centimeter, 0 0.93 meter. This is the drop in water level after stern lands on the blocks. So this is this uh, we are not interested in total drop of water level, which is 1.75 meter, because as long as the ship is free floating, it's not our draft sensibility is not going to change. It's only when the ship's stern lands on the blocks, so stern takes the blocks aft, what will be the drop in water level after that? That will change the draft and the stability. So we see that it will be 93 centimeter after the stern has taken blocks aft. The further drop in water level will be 0 0.93 meter. Now we want to know that uh, we are sure that aft draft uh, will be equal to the depth because stern has taken the blocks when the depth was 5.68 meters. 
So when the depth is further reduced to 4.75 meter, the aft draft will also be 4.75 meter. So we are sure that after a drop of 1.75 meter in water level, my aft draft, I am confirmed, will be 4.75 meters. Now, in order to find what was going to be the forward draft, we have to be sure whether during this 93 centimeter fall in water level, the ship's forward part will take the blocks and ship will be ship will take the blocks overall like from forward to aft or not or the forward will still be floating and ship will be in critical period after 93 centimeter fall because if the ship takes the blocks overall during this fall in water level then aft draft is 4.75 meter the forward draft hydrostatic draft all will be 4.75 meter because ship will be even keel on the blocks and with zero trim, there is no declivity given in, in the question. <clears throat> but for that, we have to perform a check. And how do we check? Let's find what will be the hydrostatic draft of the ship when the ship will take blocks all over. So the formula is given by P into LCF is equal to change of trim into MCTC. P is the upthrust force, which is continuously increasing as the water level is dropping and is acting at after, near the aft perpendicular. And its distance from center of rotation is LCF. So P multiplied by LCF gives a trimming moment. And that is also equal to change of trim cost multiplied by MCTC. So once the ship is flat on the uh, on the blocks the, and the trim becomes zero, she is on even keel. So what is the change of trim? Change of trim is equal to the arrival trim. So P force at critical instant. Critical instant is when the ship's forward part is just takes the blocks. So you can see from here P will be equal to change of trim into MCTC divided by LCF. Change of trim will be same as arrival trim because the ship's ship will be even keel on the blocks once the once she takes the blocks along her entire length. So 188 centimeter, 1.88 meter is 188 centimeter. As we are using MCTC, premiums it must be changed to centimeters. So change of trim 188 centimeter, MCTC 144, and LCF is as we found 73.1. So we get 370.342 tons. This is the P force, the reaction force from the keel blocks or upthrust force, whatever you call it when the ship will take blocks all over the entire length. What will be the change in hydrostatic draft at this stage? Change in hydrostatic draft will be given by P upon TPC. It's P force, the reaction force is also considered like we have discharged a weight of P tons from aft perpendicular. So what will be the change in the True mean draft or hydrostatic draft. You just divide by TPC. P upon TPC will give the mean rise. 370.342 upon 19 is TPC. 19.5 centimeters or 0 0.195 meters. So hydrostatic draft at critical instant when ship takes blocks forward will be initial hydrostatic draft 4.705 minus 0 0.195. Initial hydrostatic draft we have found here at the beginning. So we just subtract 0 0.195 meter, which is the mean rise P upon TPC, and we get 4.51 meter. So hydrostatic draft at critical instant is 4.51 meter. Of course, because ship is completely on the blocks, so depth also is same 4.51 meter. So if I compare the depth 
at given time in my question, when the water level has fallen by 1.75 meter, I found the depth will be 4.75 meter. So the depth is still more than what it will be when the shift takes loss all over. That means the ship's forward part is still not taken blocks, it's still floating, and vessel is still in critical period because depth has to fall drop down to 4.51 meter when the forward will take blocks. But our depth is still 4.75 meter, and our aft draft is also 4.75 meter. Forward is still floating, so this is confirmed that the Ship is in critical period and she is not taken blocks forward. Now, our approach will be how to find the change of trend. During the critical period, from the time stern took block off till the time during this, throughout this critical period when the forward takes blocks, there is a change of trend taking place apart from a mean rise. Mean rise because Water level is dropping and hydrostatic draft is also reducing. So there is a mean rise. Along with the mean rise, because P force is acting right aft at the aft perpendicular, so it's creating a trimming moment by the head, which is going to also reduce the aft draft. So what is the reduction in aft draft from the time the stern took the block till our a stage when 1.75 meter water has fallen, we know that change in aft draft is 93 centimeter because this is a change in the depth also after the stern took blocks. So reduction in aft draft will be equal to mean rise plus aft proportion of trim. Mean rise because hydrostatic draft is reducing and TA because there is a trimming moment by the head. So that will also reduce the draft. Both together will be the total reduction in the aft draft. 93 centimeter will be minus plus PA. Mean rise, as you know, is given by P upon TPC. And TA, the change in draft due to trim, is given by change of trim into LCF upon LB. We put the value of uh, Change of trim, change of trim, as you know, that uh, the same formula here, P into LCF is equal to change of trim into MCTC. So change of trim, change of trim will be given by P into LCF divided by MCTC. So I insert the, instead of change of trim, I put P into LCF upon MCTC. And then LCF upon LVP remains as it is. So we have P upon 19 plus now P into LCF 73.1, MCTC is 144, again LCF 73.1 and LVP 141. There's only one variable which is P and it comes out to be 294.5 tons. So, after a fall of 1.75 meter of water level, P force will be 294.5 tons. So, this P force, how much change of trim it will cause? Change of trim, as you know, the same formula again, P into LCF upon MCTC. Now I know the P, which is 294.5, LCF 73.1 upon 144 is MCTC. This will give the answer in centimeters because we are using MCTC here. So if I want to convert it into meters, I can further divide by 100. So I get change of trim 1.495 meter by head. What was the original trim when we, when the ship came to dry dock, when the stern landed first time on the box, it was 1.88 meter by stern. And what is the change of trim? Change of trim is 1.495 meter by head. So if I want to know what is the present trim now, final trim at this stage. So original trim 1.88 meter by stern minus change of trim 1.495 meter by head. I get 0.385 meter by stern. 
so the trim is now 0.385 meter lifespan after this drop of 1.75 meter water level. Half draft, as we have discussed before, we already knew the half draft will be 4.75 meter because the depth at that moment is 4.75 meter and half draft will also be same. So I know the half draft will be 4.75 meter. Ship is trimmed. 0.385 meter by stern, so subtract from the aft draft 0.385 meter and we get the forward draft 4.365 meter. So, this is the first answer. Draft after the fall in water level of 1.75 meter, forward 4.365, aft 4.75. Residual GM, original GM minus virtual loss of GM because of P force. So Km is 7.7, .7, Kg is 6.9, Km minus Kg gives me the original GM. Then I subtract the virtual loss of GM. I use the formula P into Kg upon W minus P. So 0 0.8 is the original GM minus P is 294.5 at this stage. Kg is 6.9. W minus P, W was 11,300 initial displacement minus P. So I get residual GM 0.615 meter. So this is the first answer of the first part. Now they are asking what will be the residual GM and draft when ship will be unstable. So unstable means when during the fall of water level, the P force is continuously increasing. And this P4 is causing virtual loss in GM. So at some stage, when the GM will become zero, after there's any further fall in water level, the GM will become negative. So for the GM to become zero, if the virtual loss of GM due to P4 becomes equal to initial GM at some stage, then the GM will residual GM will be zero then. So, virtual loss of GM is P into Kg upon W minus P. Initial GM is 0 0.8 meters, Km minus Kg. So, now right from the time when the ship entered dry dock and uh, she has just taken the blocks aft and the water level is falling, P force is increasing, increasing, and at some stage it has increased so much that the virtual loss becomes equal to the initial arrival gm so what what is this p comes out to be this p force comes out to be 1174.026 tons what will be the mean rise because of this p force because you see the ship is already on the blocks all over how do i say that we have seen here that when the ship took the blocks all over at critical instant, the P force will be 370.342 tons. Now the P force has increased to 1174, 1174 tons. So obviously, this stage is after the ship has taken blocks all over. So ship is already on the blocks all over from forward to aft. There is only mean rise because of this P force, P upon TPC is the mean rise. This is like P tons of weight has been discharged from the vessel. So what will be the change in the hydrostatic draft? Change in hydrostatic draft will be 1174.026 upon TPC 19. P upon TPC 61.8 centimeters, 0 0.618 meter. This is the change in the hydrostatic draft. Initial hydrostatic draft on arrival was 4.705 meter, which we calculated initially, minus change in hydrostatic draft 0 0.618, and we get 4.087 meters. 4.087 meter is the hydrostatic draft when the ship becomes unstable, GM becomes this residual GM becomes zero. 
and she is she is all over uh, she is taking the blocks all over already so the forward draft and aft draft will also be same as horizontal draft means 4.07 meter forward 4.07 meter aft and the horizontal graph also 4.07 meter and of course the single gm will be zero at this stage okay this is the answer for the second part thank you very much if there are any comments you can give the comments and i can explain further if required okay thank you